Officials say this morning that the spreading flu outbreak is straining the public health system. 41 states report widespread flu activity. Drug makers are beginning to report shortages of the flu vaccine. In some areas like Boston and New York City, the outbreak has reached epidemic proportions. The deaths of at least 20 children are blamed on the flu. The Centers for Disease Control will release new information today on the effectiveness of the flu vaccine. With us now is Dr. William Schaffner of Vanderbilt University. He is a past president of the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases. Dr. Schaffner, thanks for joining us today. What can we expect to hear from the CDC? Good morning, everyone. I think we'll hear from the CDC that indeed influenza is all over the country. People are sneezing and coughing and having fever. I think we'll also hear from the CDC a midterm report on how effective the vaccine is. I anticipate that it'll be same old, same old. Mm -hmm. It's a good vaccine, but not a perfect vaccine. I anticipate it's able to prevent, oh, 60 to 70, 60 to 70 percent of all infections. Those it doesn't prevent, it often, however, makes milder. That's harder to measure. If you haven't had pneumonia, you haven't been hospitalized, and hello, you haven't died, that's also an effect of the flu vaccine. All right, doctor, I actually went into a pharmacy last night and they said they had only two doses uh, left. Is this a concern about the shortage of doses, doses left? Uh, it's bad news and good news. Those who haven't been vaccinated will have to shop around a little bit more to get vaccine. The good news is, Every dose of vaccine is being used. If it's in the refrigerator, it can't prevent influenza. Doctor, why is it so hard to have vaccine and vaccine supplies? Well, it's difficult often to anticipate how much it will, the vaccine will be accepted. So the vaccine manufacturers have made over 130 million doses. Of course, the recommendations are that everyone in the United States older than six months should be vaccinated every year. How much it'll be accepted is difficult to anticipate. What do you say, doctor, to people who are still reluctant to get the vaccine? And when you compare the mist against the regular vaccine, what's your take on that? The mist is used more often in children, but it's available for everyone age two through 50 who doesn't have an underlying illness. Uh, children seem to like it better than the in, better than the inoculation. In adults, they're comparably effective. Should we get it? Should we get it? Oh, for sure. Everyone <laughs> okay. should get vaccinated. There isn't okay. any doubt about that. All right. That's the best prevention against influenza. All right. Are you going to follow his advice? I know. I'm, I'm, yes, Charlie, I will. <laughs> Dr. Schaffner, thank you.